Hi YouTube, this is Sandra, your aka your girl Simply Love, and I'm here to do your May 2016 love reading. Yay! And this is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. And before we go on, I'd like to thank each and every one of you who called in and got readings. I, I was flooded with readings this month. So I'm rushing to get these done. I, well, I'm not rushing. I'm, I'm trying. I want to get it out before the beginning. But uh, if it, there's delay, that's the reason why I was so tied up with a lot of readings this month, and it really drained me. I had to take a day and just like just rest because it just like wore me out more than what I thought would it would. <laughs> so it's draining, especially when you're dealing, you know, with spirit, the spirit guides, and uh, them coming in and giving them messages and things like that, and, and then I'm getting energy from, you know, the the uh, the spirit guides, and they speak through me to you from the Most High God. Okay, so I already pre-shuffled because I don't want to make these videos too long because it takes too long to up upload them and things like that. If it takes, so I pre-shuffled the main cards, but I'm going to shuffle the um, messages. I'm doing Anna K. Tarot, it's my favorite, and I'm going to do the messages from your angels, and I'm going to shuffle those live, and I, I got a box full of my Poppy Love Tarot, I want to pick one out of that as a bonus for you guys, okay, this is for Sagittarius, and they're all in this box right here, because there's a, a almost maybe a thousand of them or something, and I'll shuffle them around inside this uh, my little treasure chest box and I'll shuffle them around and pick one at the end of the reading um, and I'm going to give a crystal reading for you before we begin the reading and see what I see in the crystal for you and what you know message or message that I'm going to get out of it so if you can just give me a few minutes while I tune in this is for you Sagittarius for May 2016 okay um and this is your love reading but I'm going to see what they have to say before I begin the reading and here's my crystal right here just give me a moment For a lot of you Sagittarius I'm seeing here the uh, the word like the Lord is your savior lording lord is your savior or maybe some of you ha uh, need to get closer to the Lord or rely on the Lord. This is what I'm seeing, uh, R-L-Y, this Lord. So I'm saying rely on the Lord or seek. Some of you may want to seek the Lord and it may come make more sense as I read the card but that's what I see like like follow the Lord or and I see rely or but it's spark they got it R L Y so I'm taking it rely on the Lord your savior as your savior as your personal savior for some of you okay that's what they want you to do that's what I see out of that crystal rely on your Lord and savior some of you want to uh, uh, uh Seek your Lord and Savior at this time, and we'll, we're going to get into reading to see why the crystal uh, gave me that uh, information. Okay, so I'm going to take the camera off me, you guys, and you can focus on the cards here. I got my candles lit, and I had the sign, Do All Things With Love. Do All Things With Love, okay? And then I got, like I said, my crystal here. And my little glasses. Okay, let's begin, you guys. I'm, I'm gonna like I'm gonna stop talking so much <laughs> in my videos because they last so long, and I'm try to focus more on giving you most details we can out of here. Okay, now for Sagittarius, the first week I'm looking at is you got the Knight of Cups. Okay, the Knight of Cups that's talking about love, nothing but love, Jones, baby. I got a love, Jones, for you, and it's in the upright. And this is a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Okay, or the Sun, Moon, or Rising. They're coming in, male or female, uh, with much love. You know, this is the love card here. This is the ultimate love. This is offering love. Somebody coming in offering some love to you. Or you offering up some love to them. You just may be carrying the energies of this uh, 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 sign, Sagittarius. 
you, some of you are dealing with a, a water sign. Uh, they, somebody might be coming for some of you Sagittarius is to uh, propose to you, offer you a proposal. For some of you, they're offering they're offering a, a long term relationship. You know, they want it to be, you know, official. You know, some want it to be official. Um, like I said, I'm feeling proposals, mat, you know, um, matrimony. Um, and for some of you Sagittarius, I'm feeling like there's somebody coming back to apologize for something that they've done. Somebody from your past, maybe for some of you Aquarius, I'm sorry Aquarius, I'm sorry, Sagittarius. <laughs> for some of you Sagittarius, uh, if somebody from the past is coming back in and they want to apologize, they may be bringing flowers. They may be in regret of something that they've done to you, and they just can't take it no more. And they just, they, some of you, they're coming back to want to reconcile. For some of you, they're coming back wanting just to say they're sorry for how they treated you, and just want to be friends with you. So, you know, keep your eyes open for this. Some of you, it's a return of an ex-lover or ex-husband or ex-wife, uh, something of that. And I'm picking up, and um. They, some are coming for an apology for some of you Sagittarius out there. They want to say they're sorry for how they treated you and, and try to make amends with you. Um, and clear the air is what I'm feeling for some of you. For some of you, some are coming back to want to get back into your life with a proposal, a marriage, a remarriage, maybe a redo. I'm feeling for some of you. And some of you, um, it's just they want a, a, a deeper relationship with you. Okay, so be, we'll see what the rest of the cards say. This is going to be around the beginning, or it may have already happened for some of you Sagittarius. This, this uh, water sign may have already done come back already in some of you lives, okay? And the next we're saying the death card, though. We got the death card here. for so, for That's telling me for some of you Sagittarius is that you may cut this person all out of your life or some of you may need to. Um, be, depending on the surrounding cards, you know, you may need to. For some of you out there, you may just may need to cut this person off because they may be energy draining. I'm getting, feel, I'm getting, I'm getting a sense that... Um, this person may be codependent. They may have some issues. They may have baggage, you know, some baggage and things like that. Or and, and this is something that maybe for some of you that they do a lot. You know, it's maybe off and on, off and on. They come back. You know, they wanting to say they're sorry, then they leave and they come back again about two, three months later, or text you out of nowhere. Something. This is, for some of you, you're dealing with an immature person with a lot of emotional baggage. They got a lot of emotional baggage, and some of them like to flirt. I'm picking up like flirt, whether it's a male or female. They like to flirt, and that's what. Some, why some of them are coming back with apologies some of them are coming back that don't need to come back you need to just some of, you need to just cut them off because of the death card that's the ending for new beginnings or for some of you this could be an ending for new beginnings from somebody from the past that really really means it but you have to let them prove their self to you first don't just jump in when they come back let them prove that love don't you know just because i'm telling you that this person is coming back which they are if, if they haven't already for some of you sagittarius is if not be aware that there is somebody from the past coming back or for some of you this is going to be somebody brand new and be aware um you know and be focused on if they really want you or not don't use your heart don't dive in head first don't be swayed so easily see step back and see first if this is what you want first by the way they treat you um you know if, if if there's any patterns for some of you that this is a past person coming back make sure there's no patterns of repeated things that they've been doing to you if you first time you see that's why i say don't jump in don't get all happy go lucky first keep your thinking cap on is what i'm hearing and stay focused and keep your eye on this person if you want to give them another chance. You don't want to repeat patterns because something may not be right still with this person. May be carrying baggage. They may be doing the same thing. They may be an emotional. They may be an emotional abuser. 
you know, and they, you know, they get in in and out of relationships without even um, healing from another, or they may be codependent on someone that they always fall back on with their tears and their pain. They don't face up. Their, they don't face. They don't face their own karma, so they t they keep coming back. This is like a for some of you, I'm feeling they keep coming back. This happens all the time. You sit back and wait and wait and wait. You're gonna ha if you're gonna wait on them. I mean, some of you you don't need to wait. You need to just move forward for something with this death card, is what they're telling me heavily. And for some of you, you may if you want this person in your life, take it easy at the beginning and and and, and watch out for the signs first. Don't go dodging and talking about, oh yeah, you love me. I know you come back because you love me. No, watch out first. This is a warning right here. Watch out for some of you Sagittarius is out there. For some of you, it's going to be brand new love coming in. Or it may have already happened to some of you already. So some of you know what I'm talking about. So around the second week of May, I'm looking at the King of Pentacles, which is a earth sign, okay? Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So, this earth sign coming in here uh, is a king. So, he's an older man or older woman. This could be the king or the queen, okay? Because we're talking no gender because it's general. And they're telling me that this person is well balanced. Um, they, have, they have something to offer. Um, this could be somebody new for some of you. Sagittarius is this may be an earth sign coming in somebody new somebody a little older and mature and has their head on straight um, they're very focused um, they hold on to their money saying like savings they don't give away their money too easy uh, they also are they hold back on their their emotions as well they hold on their emotions because you see that corn is up to their heart they're holding on they may hold on to their money not easily give it up so quickly but they are kind and generous they're a kind and generous person but they are con they're being that they're older and been through a, a, a lot of things in life uh, they they can figure things out really easy they kind of can see through things that's coming they know how to handle the situation they're very well balanced um, and you know they carry the coin they may be coming around here to Court some of you Sagittarius is out there. If this is not a Earth sign, it's they uh, they have the elements of Earth in their ch natal chart somewhere. So it could be the Sun, Moon, or Rising sign that's coming in here for you, uh, Sagittarius. And um, like I said, they carry on those characteristics of an Earth sign. Okay, so the second week also there's going to have to be a decision made. Or for some of you Sagittarius, you're going to have to make a, a choice. And the choice may be for some of you, this Cancer, um, Scorpio, or Pisces person that's coming in with uh, offerings of love, um, or and this uh, this King of Pentacles, which means an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, that may be coming in as well uh, with an offer of love or offer of something of of well, be it's a love reading, an offer of love. Um, both pretty good choices really except if this is a return relationship as I told you for some of you okay some of you is going to be brand new okay some of you is going to be brand new you're going to have to choose between two people then which may be a uh, water sign and a earth sign okay number two it could be for some of you, somebody that's returning from the past that you had a relationship with off and on, off and on, coming back to apologize. And it could be just friendship. But with this card here, it's showing me that they may, for a little of you, it just may be friendship and wanting to um, clear the air and make sure everything's okay. Y'all buddy, buddy, y'all cool and all that. you sorry about, you could, it couldn't work out and things of that nature. For some of you, um... It's going to be, like I said, you're going to have a choice to make between two people here, earth sign and a, um, a water sign. And for some of you, you have to decide whether, whether you want to go back to a relationship that's been off and on for quite some time. You, you're, you're going to get kind of stuck because 
um, this person in the past, like I said, if you look at these choppy waters, there's a quarter of a moon up here. The waters is rough. Look how rough they are. And plus they have two swords there too and a red ribbon that's splitting. So this is telling me that, you know, some of you Sagittarius is out there. Yeah, this is somebody that you've been off and on with and had some, some terrible times with in the past. So you have to be, you're going to have to be, take on the energy of the, um, the king or the queen of pentacles and be logical instead of diving into your emotions be logical about this for some, you ones that have had a past with this person and you've been you had a tough time with them a very rough time with them and um and you're kind of like you th you kind of walked away from that by turning your back on them and they're coming in wanting to offer love again or or saying they're sorry or they love you you and then there here's this other person that came in too as well which is the earth sign and you're you can't figure out which one that you want so this is decision time this is a card of making a decision you can't just stand there and 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 not do nothing you're going to have to do something because those way the, the I mean, they're really, really turbulent. That that water, the waves and stuff, very turbulent. Especially with that a quarter of a moon there, it's very turbulent. And you need to hurry up and make a decision because that all that all that turbulence could knock both of those down. So you might be out of both partners if you don't make a decision. Okay, for some of you Sagittarius out there, you you're gonna make a a bad. You're not gonna end up with either one of them if that water comes close to those two these two these two swords that's in the ground here and I'm saying they're two people okay that's how I'm looking at it being the two swords there are two people um, that you, and, and, and with the split there's like a split decision so that's mean you're gonna have to choose one or the other or if you don't that the rough seas is coming up on to that sand and if that water uh, over over comes over top of these two swords back here they're going to be washed away and you're you're and you're not going to get either one of these people okay so that's what the guys are telling me now around the third week um you got the wheel of fortune which is good and it's in the upright so you're going to you're going to make a decision you're going you're going to make that decision and you're going to make the best decision for you it depending upon the situation that I already said, you're gonna make the best decision for you. Um, you're gonna somebody's gonna get dumped, and this also can go on the flip side. This somebody could be doing this to you, Sagittarius, or you could be doing this to someone else. As all what I talked about in this relate in this relationship love reading, somebody could be you know di um, um, saying goodbye to you. Okay, or you saying goodbye to someone else? You know, you you you've made up your mind. You made your decision. The wheel is turning in your favor, and it seems like to me with this being a major arcana card that a lot of you are going to make the right decision this time. Yes, you are because you got the world, and that's another major arcana card side by side here and up on top of the death card which means you know you do make a decision of one of these two people here uh Sagittarius in your life or somebody's making a decision about you between two you and somebody else somebody's going to be gone here and it's it's going to be a good decision uh because of the world and the world means everything you know at the we got the world in your hands you're going to be happy with the decision that you make a lot of you Sagittarius is out there are going to be happy with your decision okay with the wheel of for fortune and the world together that's definitely telling me it's going to be a good decision made here okay now around a third week for some of you Sagittarius is you're going to exhibit the five, uh, five of swords okay so that's some kind of um mental you know something in your mind that you're beating either beating yourself up with Sagittarius or you know in your mind about you might uh feel like you're overwhelmed or like maybe this person makes one of these people may be too too tough or something I'm getting too tough for you or 
overbearing to you or maybe this person from the past maybe the reason why you left them is because of them being like this you could just see it in the card how they are I mean they're they just bring destruction and mayhem everywhere they go look at the background there they they had battles with people in the past and 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 they're coming forth to you with battle so maybe that's why you turned that person down and got and made the wheel of fortune turn in your favor by making a good choice rather than picking this person that caused strife for you over and over again because if you look in the back and there's battles there if you look on this card and you see all that stormy stuff in the back there and the moon, somebody you turned your back on, they just gave you too much, too many problems. This person and this is probably the one that you're turning down. Uh, they, they absorb or you are going to absorb the energy of the Aquarius, Gemini or Libra, uh, which are air signs, uh, which deals with the swords is mental. So this may affect. Uh, either affect someone you Sagittarius may affect you this could be a sun moon or rising as well could affect you um, mentally you know maybe you're being maybe you're being in your head too much regarding the decision that you made but you made a good decision as far as what I'm seeing here for some of you um, now I'm looking at the the ten of cups This could bring on a whole new dynamic. For some of you Sagittarius's that get involved with a water sign, for some of you, um, you may experience um, unhappiness or um, a discontentment with this person or maybe aggravated with this person. Some of you Sagittarius is out there. Um, the Four of Cups, yeah, it's like maybe being bored. You might be, you might get bored with with uh, this water sign, or maybe it's because that's why you broke up. Maybe for some of you, because maybe you were bored with this person. You know, maybe this person was too emotional. Maybe you were too emotional with this person, Sagittarius, and it caused, you know, um, unhappiness and boredom. Um, uh, kind of like not appreciating things. It's like you're just like maybe just not into into what was going on around you, all this goodness around you, but you just look at your face and you're disgusted. And it's like you just don't give a damn, really. That's the way it looks to me, even though you're being treated very well, but you're not recognizing it for some reason. For some of you Sagittarius is out there, or it could be somebody doing this to you, um, Sagittarius. Some, some, somebody could be doing this to you, um, making you feel this way. Or for some of you, it could be this person, this, this person that's coming back from the past that you may be thinking about or had thought about. Um, this may be the reason why you chose the the uh, earth sign or the sun, moon, or rising sign. That this may be just saying the reason why because this person was, you know, uh, emotionally or uh, could be co codependency. I'm hearing emotionally uh, try to trap you emotionally. They were, you know, trying to mess with your head, manipulating things like that, and you kind of like that was turning you off you didn't like it so that's maybe why you made a good choice with the wheel of fortune and the world card for a lot of you Sagittarius with this earth sign person if it's not earth this sun it could be anybody's or it could be their sun moon or rising sign so that's what I'm getting for you guys for your May 2015 uh, love reading for you Sagittarius's so let me move on to the messages whoa things getting mixed up here <laughs> the messages messages from your angels let's see what they pick for you i want to shuffle on this one sagittarius what's your angel message for you
little quiet while I shuffle. That's odd of me, isn't it? Y'all know I can run my mouth. Okay, let's see here. Let me just go like this. Okay. Okay, your message for you is from your angel guide, Aurora. Aurora. Your angel guide, Aurora, says you are flying high right now, which may threaten others. Okay, so you're flying high right now, and it, and it may th threaten others because... Um, I'm getting from this card that you're, um, you know, like I, with the Wheel of Fortune and the World card is like you're feeling. That's what this card reminds me of. Putting it with the Wheel of Fortune and the World is like you made a good decision from choosing two pe from two people or somebody choosing you as a mate for them and making everything. It makes your world whole. So other people on the outside of you may be feeling intimidated by that. They may be intimidated and. Um, or, you know, you've, you've raised the bar in your relationship and you got somebody really better suited for you than picking the, the, the other. It may be this person that may be feeling like this for you. They may, you know, because you didn't pick them, they might feel, you know, some type of way towards you because of that. But don't be discouraged, it says, because when, uh, others will soon become inspired by your example so that's good so don't let it get you down Sagittarius if you, you know you come across these people like why did they make that decision or even if that's if it's that person don't let them make you feel bad about it because you know you had your reasons only you and the most high God knows why you chose over them if it was a past lover for some of you even that got back together um that got back together with this person to see how they're going to treat you this time others may be kind of intimidated and say you know hey we know how they treated you why did you jump back in that relationship again well that's between you and them maybe they changed maybe they showed you that they changed so don't worry about it because you know even later on after everything after everything calms down they're going to be on your side and they're going to say oh okay everything's cool Okay, now let me get a love tarot card out of here for you. I am shuffling right now as your bonus card is your love tarot card. Okay, so good so far, Sagittarius. You are all in there good. Whoa, bunch of them fell out. I'm not, I'm, I can't put that as anything in there. Okay, and I got them in my little box here. They all them fell out. Okay. See, here's one right here. Let me see what this says. About to happen. Happiness happening. Let's see. So they're saying love about to happen, happening now. So with some of you Sagittarius, this is already happening. As I said earlier, this is already taking place right now. Or it for some of you, it's about to happen. I think I mentioned that at the beginning of the video. So all this is going to take place, what I just talked about for some of you Sagittarius is general reading. So it can't apply to everybody, but it's going to apply to some. And you're all going to know who you are. This is already taking place for some of you or it's about about to take place for some of you Sagittarius out there. Okay. Well, I hope you join your enjoyed your reading with me. I hope. Um, that you guys subscribe because like I said I'm going to come up with something uh, where I'm going to answer some free questions so you're going to need to be subscribed and I'm going to do it for subscribers only so you're going to need to be subscribed when I do and I'll have a list of my subscribers um, and um, when once I do this um, it's going to be going throughout the social media I'm, I've been playing around with the uh, YouTube and been shown a few things so I'll get it right this time um, so I'll put it on Facebook it's gonna uh, we're gonna meet at YouTube and Google actually probably gonna be at Google Google talk something of that nature Google voice something of that they call it but I'll send out the video you'll know and I just want to send my love to each and every one of you all of you who called in this month for a reading I'm so proud of you I'm so proud of you for taking a leap of faith to find out what messages that the most high God have for you and his lovely beautiful angels that come in and help me read for you to you about you 
for the better of you even if sometimes it may be tough love you know it some does come in tough love here and you you know it's just for your benefit it's nothing to take personal or take or feel bad about we all have to come to terms with ourselves sometime you know we can't keep spinning around in circles and spinning around in circles we have sometimes you get tired and that that means it's time for you to Help yourself. Help yourself to become the better you so you can project a better you to come to your way when it comes to love. Once you go inside yourself and love yourself and who you are, everything else is going to follow. I guarantee you that. I know. Been there and done that. So I'm going to end this Sagittarius with you had a very good reading. And I, um, congratulations to all of you who may be getting proposal for marriage and um, or study relationships and things like that. I wish you the best. If uh, if you all need a any any of you need a detailed reading with me, just look below. Uh, all my information is down below. How you can contact me along with my phone number, everything, email, everything, you name it, is down there. And I can do you guys uh, in Skype if you're out of the country. I can do Skype, and that will be down in the description below as well. So thank you so much for tuning into my channel. And I'm going to leave by saying this. Love is all there is, and you guys know what to say. Love is all there ever going to be. Okay, you take care, and I love each and every one of you. Thank you so, so much, and God loves you. Bye-bye.